Hello there, Banana Gang, and welcome to the Xena SMP. This is a Let's Play server for me and about 10 other people. The world is set to large volumes. We have a bunch of data packs that let us do some amusing things, like this, and it should hopefully be a lot of fun. Now, you've seen early game Minecraft like a million times before, so I'm just gonna tell you how my early game went in like a minute or less. Ready? Go. I started by going to a pillager outpost nearby spawn. I looted the chest and got horny. Then I auditioned for the Olympic diving team. I found some bees and claimed dibs on them, then I found some people and claimed dibs on them too. I also destroyed their history books. Don't read into that. You, you get it, cause, cause that's an expression, but also it's about books, so saying don't read into that is, it, it's a pun. Okay, look, okay, next thing. Then I got murdered. Then I went on a long journey looking for a mangrove swamp. ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da I'm still sick. I found a mangrove swamp 3,000 blocks away. Also, I forgot to record this part, so this is the artist recreation. Because it was 3,000 blocks away, I decided to make another portal and travel back that way to cut down on the time. Unfortunately, on the way back, I died and lost all my stuff. Twice. I decided to just take a propagule and travel back the long long, long way. And then eventually I came right back to where I started. So now I'm back at spawn with nothing but a propagule, so I'm essentially starting over. Because early game Minecraft's pretty boring, I'm probably just gonna do a jump cut in three, two, one. And here I am with a lot of stuff. I went caving and found stuff, and I also just found these donkeys, and I got these two from, uh, what are they called? Saddle and horse armor. I got, well I can't put the horse armor on donkey, but I can't tame the donkey because I have a saddle and I found it in a dungeon. I'm gonna need a name for this trusty steed, but now that I have them, I need to figure out a spot to set up base. I just gave Midnight some wood because there's like no trees around. Uh, large vines like that. In fact, actually, maybe I should be the good guy. Maybe I should be the good person on the server and actually just plant a few trees um, at spawn that way. Just because <laughs> you know how it be sometimes. Just you spawn in, there's nothing around, or you, you lose all your stuff. I'm just gonna... Actually, I don't even need to use bone meal. I can just, like, plant them. They should just grow. So I'll just throw some of these down. Um, but basically now, I want to pick a spot to build a base. I was thinking it might be funny to, like, build a base on top of the pillager outpost, but I don't know how dangerous that would be. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but that was a thought I had. I just thought that might be funny. Uh, but I think where I'm probably end up going is over towards that village. This is the one I found... Oh, actually, I, you guys, well, you guys wouldn't know that. I, 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 didn't, I did a jump cut. But I found a village over there, and that's where I got all the bells that are in my inventory. Um, so I think I'm going to head that way and start to finally set up a permanent base and not just, you know, be living on the back of a donkey. I think I've picked a spot for where I want to build. A village is right over there, and there's a couple of lava pools here, and then spawn is over the, yonder. So I think I'm going to... Oh my god, he's already running away. I'm going to dig a little hole to keep the donkey in, because he's just going to keep running away. And then after that, uh, you know, we can double starter base. I have made a Toad House. Um, if you've played at probably any Mario game, you've probably seen some version of these. Um, I wanted to change the color palette a little bit on the top, but I don't really have access to a whole lot of blocks right now. Eventually, it should be white, not tan on the top, but you know, I think it works pretty well. Also, the door, I want to be different color. There's a few things I would change. Um, and don't ask me to see the interior because it is not done yet. Um, I mean, I can show you, but it's... <laughs> it leaves a lot to be desired, but this is a spot where I can put some chests and stuff and leave it as is. Um, the villagers over there, I also have secured some of the villagers, they're like trapped in little boxes. And then I have these lava pools right here. Um, the ocean is down there, and I also started a wheat farm. It's right over the horizon, not horizon, the hill. 
Come on, come on. There it is. I started a wheat farm. Um, I probably need to continue around the like lake. I think I think that might be kind of cool. And uh, right now I'm trying to decide what I want to do next to progress. I think I am gonna build another portal. Um, it'll only be a temporary one because having it out in the open, like by that lava pool, is gonna look really ugly. And all of a sudden, that lava is not gonna be safe long term because I'm sure one day I will just walk in and die and lose everything. Uh, but it's gonna be temporary just until I have a diamond pickaxe and can build one where I actually want it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need a water source, not just one. Or I'm gonna need an infinite water source, not just a single block. I want to go to the nether because I want to get quartz to make an observer, or to make multiple observers, hopefully, um, so I can make a pumpkin and or melon farm. Uh, basically, I want to get up with villager trading, you know how that'd be, we got a village over there, and uh, there's a secret data pack on the server I haven't told the other people on here yet about, and uh, I need villagers to make it work. So I want to get started on that right away, but until then, I gotta do step one, step two, step three, and step one is portal. I actually just realized that before I make a portal to go to the nether to do all that other stuff I said a few seconds ago, um, I don't. I should probably get some pumpkin seeds first because I don't actually have any. Um, I asked Tristan, he said he has some. So I'm going to head over to his base, it's over this direction. And uh, yeah, hopefully I have some, I bring my valuables with him, hoping that something I have will entice him to give me some pumpkin seeds. Okay, I was just on my way to Wormy's base, or Wormy slash Tristan, I call him Tristan because he's my friend. What is... What have I just discovered here? I've only just found this on my way over there. What? Someone set up a little base here. It's a bit interesting in design. Um, <laughs> they've written bruh. Okay. I'm just let this be. It, you know, it's cute. You know? Wow, this is a fat dog. He can't fit anywhere. Oh, what a fat ass. It also only just now occurred to me that I need to cross this river to get over here. And, um, not really sure to do that on horseback or donkey back. I guess I'll just have to make a bridge and hope for the best. Um, okay, how are we gonna do this? Okay, I just made a little bridge. I tried to find a point that would be like pretty close and also like buy stuff that's relevant. So it spawns like up here. The the pillager base over there is a little camp right here. So I figured here's a good spot to put a bridge. Obviously this is really ugly. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Um, can I get like hitboxes? Okay, I got a, I have a huge hitbox. Holy cow, my donkey's fat. But hopefully I'll be good right here. Please, please, please. Don't just drift, and we are chillin'. Why are there, why are there so many bunnies? It's there's so many and pigs too. There's a, why are there so many of every mob? It's so weird. The rabbits are breeding like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you're like here already, Helen. Oh, I am. Oh hi, is anyone home? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> We're good at role playing. <laughs> Hi, I'm just a traveler uh, passing through, and uh, I was okay. wondering if you have any pumpkin seeds I could have. Huh, how convenient. I do. Okay, what do you want? Name a price. Or actually, I can tell you what I got. We can discuss. Yeah, well, what do you have? Okay, I got a few things. Here, do you have, is this chest important? Can I put stuff in this chest for demonstration uh, purposes? You can, yeah. This okay. is just, I'm storing some, some farm supplies okay, in here. Okay, don't take these. I'm going to put them in here, and you can... Uh, ex I'm explain some stuff about them. Right? Okay, well... <laughs> okay, so, this is a mangrove propagule. Now, these are rare, because I'm the only one who has these, I'm pretty sure, right now. Um, the nearest swamp, is nearest mangrove swamp, is about uh, 4,000 blocks away, so it's, it's a little bit rare. Um, so if you want yeah. mangrove wood, you either have to come up to me, which might cost you more in the future, or you can take this now. Now, this is a single yeah, gunpowder. Okay. This gunpowder, I don't want it, no. One gunpowder is not that much, I'll admit that. This isn't about the gunpowder, this is about what it represents. I don't, I can't say exactly too much yet, because that would spoil what I'm planning uh... for the future of the season. But consider this more of a, uh, olive branch, that this is gonna lead to good things in the future if you catch my drift um oh do you have a bag please the, the monsters are gonna come out uh oh yeah so the, this is an option again i can't spoil this too much i mean you gotta know but the audience doesn't know and the lore yeah. I, can't, I can't i can't uh you know this is foreshadowing no, no, I've, I, got, I I've got it. i've got an idea um so those are the other those are the ones that have more value because of other context the other stuff yeah, is just yeah. actual like valuables um well this isn't why do i have this that's not valuable do you want seeds for seeds <laughs> Uh, nah, I got plenty. Okay, so these are the actual valuables. I got six raw gold. I got four, actually I'm not gonna do all that. Seven raw iron. Any, either of those interest you? Really, I think I'd be interested in your, uh, 
your mangrove and olive branch uh, okay, proposition so you, here. Okay, so I got some other stuff, but if you're interested in these, um, these were not, I mean, I can maybe do both at the same time, but it's kind of like one of the others, kind of what I was thinking, but, uh... Well, what, I'd like what? to, I'd like to, I'd like to bring, uh, I'd like to bring both to the table. For how many seeds uh, are we talking here? I have 16 pumpkin seeds. Do you have any pumpkins? I do have pumpkins. How many pumpkins do you have? I have six pumpkins. How many pumpkins do you actually have? I have six pumpkins. I I have I have six pumpkins. I don't believe you. You I have six You are the, the far you are the farmer. I am the farmer. I have been focusing on wheat right now. Oh you fool. You know what I spent you know what you I spent fool. the last You know what I spent the last two, three hours doing? Turning all this into farmland. It is harder than it looks. Yeah, I can see you really have been working on this. That's impressive. And plus, um, then I've spent the last hour just digging it would be a, a shame. It would be a shame if someone were to... <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay, 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 I'll stop, I'll stop. So, okay, I want six, all six pumpkins and all 16 seeds, but if you give me all of that, then I will give you the olive branch and the gunpowder. Here's the deal. Five pumpkins and the 16 seeds, because I kind of want a pumpkin to myself. Okay, okay wait, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, okay. That's, I mean, that would, be, that would be really funny if I just bankrupted you on pumpkins. If you took all my pumpkins. <laughs> but there, there you go. That's the mango popule. That's the old, it's the only one you'll find in, like, a really long time. Uh, unless there's one just like, like, the complete other direction I just haven't gone. Uh, and then, yeah, the, the olive branch is, um, we'll be in touch. All right. It was a pleasure glad doing to, business for me. Glad to hear it. And I'm sure we'll be back. This is really easy to careful, prank. Careful! Careful! This, this is. <laughs> I will be back to mess with you. Uh, Goodbye. You know, I really do think something on the server might be broken with mob spawning. Um, I'll need to look into this, but um, something seems weird. Like Tristan mentioned, how there weren't that many hostile mob spawning, and he's right. I've noticed that too. And there's like an abundance of like uh what, what are they called passive mobs um especially i noticed with bees because bees tend to kind of wander off and never come back but i haven't seen the bees from my hive missing which is abnormal um and as we're heading back i'm also seeing that bridge i think we're definitely gonna need to like build some bridges on the server i mean there's rivers everywhere my base is up here and uh spawns here but there's another village here i'm pretty sure there's people basing over there um, like, even, like, I don't know, just, I think a couple bridges would be really cool. We could all do, like, different bridges in our own style. That'd be really cool. Like, we all had our own bases and, uh, built our bridges, like, in the style that fit our base. I don't know. I just think it'd be a really cool thing. And, okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna pull the hitbox. I'm just gonna trust it. Should I, should I do a jump? Whee! Okay. So, now back on the way to our base. It's this direction. I think that went pretty well, the bartering with, uh, Tristan. I think it went pretty nicely. Um... I didn't give any, any of my actual valuables away. Like, everything I gave it didn't really cost me that much in, like, uh, material goods. The one property you I mean, I got 40 other of those. You, I was kind of bluffing about those. Like, I was planning on just giving those away. Um, so I kind of scammed him. Like, I was not planning on hoarding those. I was planning on either, at the very least, just selling them in a shop. So I think he thinks they're going to be a lot rarer than they actually are. But, you know, he can... Oh, there's Spencer. That's a little bit interesting. Um... <laughs> And then the gunpowder, you'll find out what that's about soon enough. Okay. I was really hoping he would die. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to my base. Sorry, I got really distracted there. Spencer is, you know, he, he makes you turn your head. He's like the, the distracted boyfriend meme. You know, you see him and you're just going, huh? Okay, so basically, I want to keep these videos under 15 minutes long, and we are basically out of time, if that's the goal. So I've just planted them manually, since there's no time to build an automatic farm. I'll do that next episode, probably. And next episode, basically, we're going to turn these melons into money, then we're going to launder that money, and then we're going to use that money to buy books that will let us do many despicable things and prank some other members in the server. So if you want to see that, stay tuned for episode 2. Make sure to like me. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. I, I won't do it. Anyways, oh, what the... Thanks for watching, and until I see you guys next time, eat a banana, peace.